Now, if you're just tuning in, our focus is how the youth can position um, themselves for success ahead of 2021. Now, let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So, Ayola, before we went on a break, I was asking, right, with the epileptic nature of our educational structure in Nigeria, right, how do we even have people that, you know, can easily pick up these skills that you've talked about? Because I know that the future is technology. We really cannot run away from it. We really cannot shy away from it. Should we still be focusing on the structure of the current, I mean, um, the mindset of the current um, educational structure that you have to go to the four walls of an academic uh, structure? Or, you know, young people should just carry, you know, ASU and everything and just keep it in one corner and just go <laughs> to somebody like you and come for training because that's well, the point. To buttress one word. Well, the, so, the, 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 so, so the, the truth of the matter is that whether you like it or not, the, 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 the future of education is evolving by the day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, some of the people I, I, I employ in my, in, my, in my organization are are not even university graduates, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So the future of education is evolving. And as long as the necessary skill sets are imbibed, we are not in any way playing down on um, the, the school structure or formal education. But I know very well that, you know, knowledge can be passed across without even getting to the four walls of the university. Heck, think about it. Some of us have even taken our masters without stepping into the university. We're actually taking them online. Online, yeah. You know, and and and, and whether we like it or not, it, it has come to stay, and we must embrace the fact that too. In Nigeria today, we have a very high mobile penetration. Nigeria is heavy, even though it's just some people are just at the entry level of smartphones, hmm. but it's actually a lot of people that are on, on, on using mobile phones right now in Nigeria. And the problem we have is not whether or not people have mobile phones is actually knowing that everything that we need are actually at our fingertips using the same mobile phones so someone thinks that oh i have to pay xyz before i can actually take a course hmm. but you can actually just on the same subscription of data you're using to you know do some gossips or do some form of you know shenanigans and shindegs <laughs> you can actually learn yeah you, know I mean? you can actually learn a whole lot using that same time. And we must be able to, first and foremost, have clarity of thought. And I think that's very important for the young people of our day. Mm -hmm. People need to have clarity of thought. What exactly am I doing with my time, with myself, with my life? The people that we're actually watching, you know, you know, play and dance and do stuff online are making a lot of money, tons of money. I mean, tons and tons of millions of dollars are being made on the digital space by the people who are spending so much time to watch. Now, I'm not discountenancing their own work. It's what they've been able to craft their own, uh, their own uh, business around, mm -hmm. which means that you also can do the same for yourself. You can as well you know, create value that you're selling by virtue of putting yourself down for a few minutes to just really like bury yourself and learn. And yeah. if you can learn very well, then you can trade in that knowledge because actually the next generation, the next few years is going to be a knowledge economy. We're going to be selling what we know more than mm. what we do. Wow. Really. Because mm. we're going to be selling what we know more than what we do. So you must really like get yourself up to speed as to what exactly you're doing. Be a subject matter expert in what you're doing. Mm. So that when you're looking at the number of people around you, you actually you stand out from the pack. You're not just one of the numbers. You stand out from the pack. So I think that's one of the things that we must do. Education as it is in Nigeria today needs to improve mm. I, I went to a university for instance and they are using you know the the, the curriculum or the, the the lesson notes was was what i was used to be was, was what was used to teach Did me you? 20 wow. years ago wow and some things had not changed you know so and i and i asked myself how knowledge is evolving knowledge is progressing it means that if these kids in school are still being taught what i was taught 20 years ago it means that this, there's trouble, there's real big trouble, because they will not grow to be competitive. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about secondary school, I'm talking about the university, right? Okay. Now, hmm. Where you're being taught what was, what was taught in the year 2000. Hmm. Then there is problem, because if you get into the market to compete with the people who are actually in the place where the knowledge is progressive, then you definitely cannot be competitive. Absolutely. So for students who are currently in school, my suggestion would be for you that, yes, you're in school, this is the, our reality, 
but you must take advantage of the digital space mm -hmm. to actually cross-check what is being taught. Okay, what is the current state of this information? What is the current state of this knowledge? How do I apply myself by reason of what I see online mm -hmm. to improve myself and become more competitive going forward in the future? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, fantastic once again. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you talk. <laughs> so there is something that actually caught my attention again when you were talking. You talked about youth having a clarity of thought. And that's a key role in um, having them... Uh, position themselves for the following for um, 2021 but one thing also struck me the the role of mentorship okay so what role does mentorship play in this because we have individuals who might have parents who are not um, tech savvy and at the end of the day they all they can think about is oh um, go and wash plate go and cook rice go and do this go and do that they do not look beyond a given level so how what what role is what's the role of mentorship in um, success for the youth in 2020? Okay, yeah. So me mentorship is, is very vital. We cannot in any way underplay the essence of being shown the way in the real sense of it. And one of the things that I believe very strongly that is a big problem in our country and maybe in society as a whole is that we do not know that Mentorship is not only um, downward, upward. There can also be upward, downwards, which means that I can also be mentored by someone younger than myself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I can be mentored with someone who is not even in my age grade, but is not in my knowledge grade. Hmm. Together. Mm -hmm. is, is not in my age grade, but I am not in his knowledge grade. Mm -hmm. So which means that he knows much more than I do know, but I am older than he, than he is. And what Absolutely. happens with that is that we must be able to bring ourselves to be humble, to learn from those. For instance, some of the guys that taught me um, most of what I know as regards to digital space are way younger than I am. Hmm. But they're extremely tech savvy. <clears throat> extremely, extremely tech savvy. And then sometimes when I want to do something new in my, in my organization, what we do is that I would sit down with these young men and say, guys, here is what I want to do. What do you think about it? Give me some serious, honest critique of what I'm thinking about. Mm. And by the time they dissect what I'm trying to do, I see that I was about to make a fool of myself. Wow. <laughs> because I would have just been, I would have wasted so much resources mm -hmm. driving something that there would have been no adoption for. Wow. So we, we cannot, we cannot in any way under, I mean, underestimate the, the value of mentorship. Of mentorship. And like I said, it is both. Yeah, it is both vertical and it's also lateral. Okay. So which means that you can learn within the people that are of your grade and you can also learn either upward or, or downward. downward. Or downward. Vertical. Oh, yeah. So you must be able to know exactly where mm -hmm. the, the, the knowledge is and actually latch onto it and also glean as much as you can because time waits for no man. Absolutely. These same guys that you're talking about are going to be, I mean, like they say, this today you see me tomorrow, you won't see me anymore. <laughs> Most of these guys I'm talking about today just for you to know, some of these guys I'm talking about today, at least maybe about 50% of them are out of the country now. Mm -hmm. wow. So what that means is that if I did not take advantage of the time when they were here with me in Lagos, it would have been more difficult now because now I have to struggle with time zone. Be some of them are seven them. hours ahead, some are nine hours ahead, you know, wow. and ah. it would have been a big challenge for me, you know. So like, that, that matter, is that why you are dragging another matter for us, because... <laughs> Some people believe that positioning for success is that they have to relocate. But let me come to Mori. Let me come to Mori. Mori, are you there? Okay, I think Mori is there. Okay, so this thing you just said now, some people believe that the only road to success for, for them beyond, I mean, I mean 2020 and be, 2021 and beyond is that they just need to leave Nigeria right they need Nigeria. to leave this country because if they don't leave this country they cannot act actualize their 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 success that's one then secondly just this morning or was it this afternoon i was going through instagram and if a, a famous person i don't want to mention his name he had about two point something million followers mm. and his page was deleted by instagram oh now Heard. Where we are building, because a lot of people are building their businesses on social media, Absolutely. building their whatever on social media, and they mm -hmm. are becoming like, you know, real 
influencers on social media, making a lot of money on social media, forgetting that they do not own that platform. platform. What is the wisdom in, in um, growing that following that you have, you know, with social media? Because anything can happen. Somebody can just report your page and say, I didn't like Uwa's face. She said something about me. Sometimes they don't even bother to verify or to check. They just bring down your page. This guy has two, over 2 million followers and his page was brought down like this. And we've seen it happen over and over again. Mm -hmm. So if you were to advise, you know, young people, right, especially those that are using social media to, you know, build their current, uh, what's it called, revenue and all of that, how would you go about advising them? So, I mean, one of the things I tell people is you're, you're in a rented space, mm. right? When you're social media, you're in a rented space. You're not in the space that you own. So more often than not, you must have a, a mechanism or a, a, a strategy that helps you to channel people to a platform you have more control over, like, you know, maybe like your own website or your own community where you have maybe like, a, you know, some group or somewhere yeah. where you have direct access to these people. So it's called funneling pretty mm -hmm. much, you know, so you actually gather them from a big pool like instagram or twitter or facebook or wherever it is and then you channel them to somewhere that you have more direct control over so for instance every single person on your instagram page you don't have their phone number mm. you don't have their email address anywhere no. so what that means is that the moment that account is deleted you don't have any means of reaching them ever again except they're the people that you already have contact with. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? If you're selling a service or you're selling a product, what you should then do is to see ways by which you can actually harvest, which by means of either, you know, you have some services you're rendering or some product you're selling and you're driving them to register for something, you know, which is why you see most events, they tell you to register. They say it is free, but well, registration is compulsory. Required so that they can get what your data. Do, exactly you're getting it so that is a that is an indirect way of harvesting critical information for for either upselling mm. or cross-selling mm -hmm. so if a person knows that oh i i need to be able to contact you whenever i want to contact you then they will find a way to get your primary means of communication which is your email mm -hmm. or your phone number yeah so for that kind of person i would advise that you know you try as much as possible to have you know, a way of directing people to where you can actually get the primary means of communication, which is either the phone numbers or their email addresses. Store it up very securely in the cloud or on a drive. And then you can call that up regularly, you know, send them newsletters. Don't spam people. Mm. Don't send them what they don't need. Don't spam people, you know. And then the way, and I tell people there are, there are what they call clickbaits. I mean, as much as you want to use clickbait, which is you putting up a caption that mm -hmm. is very enticing mm -hmm. don't do it all the time because someone will just think that oh here it comes again there's nothing valuable he's going to say yeah so you must understand the psychology of your market mm -hmm. understand the psychology of your audience it's actually a whole lot it's like a whole course if you know what i mean so, i get you <laughs> so for so for the people that want to run away from the country believing that that is positioning for success what would you say to them well it's 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 a two-way street right so for some people to be honest, for some people, they need to travel, right? Because um, the, 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 the knowledge they need to really go far, they need to travel for that. The exposure, the practical experience they need, they need to travel for that to be uh, experienced and garnered. So there are people that, yes, they need to travel. But there are other people that are currently following the bandwagon effect, or like they call it the herd mentality, who just hear, oh, the way to go is to jackpot. Mm. And they just want to jack back, you know. Absolutely, and, jack and they have no, they have no business anywhere else. This is where they can thrive. This is where they can prosper. But they just feel, oh, you know what? Everybody is trying to travel abroad. Let me also travel abroad. And then you get there, and there's really no value you can add to yourself mm. because there's nothing. So even to traveling, there. you have so, to be very strategic about it. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So you must know exactly. So you, you can't just get up and say. So for instance, for for some people. Your market is in Finland, mm -hmm. but you are struggling right now for Canada. Mm -hmm. And you get to Canada, you're stuck. 
And then you're asking yourself, oh, why one family member from one village is doing me? <laughs> Nobody is doing you. You didn't, you didn't think your process through. Yeah. You were not properly researched as to how you were to travel. So, Absolutely. And maybe some people, your own, your own market is in China. Hmm. But you are currently looking for a, a trip to Brazil. I mean, trust me, Brazilian hair is not in Brazil. You know oh, what I mean? <laughs> Is Mori there now? I'll come to you, Isi. I just want to quickly... Mori, are you back? Oh, I think she's she's still not back. Okay, Isi, come, okay. Isi, come in. Okay, so let's take this question. Um, according to my research, I, had, I, I did a research on youth um, success. And we, I saw the five Cs, which were competence, confidence, connection, compassion, and character. So... Uh, for you to be able to be successful in the future. So what is your take on today's youth in terms of character? What's your take on that? Hmm. Do you, do you because want to there is there? a saying, no, because there's a saying that your uh, your attitude determines your altitude. Okay. So I really want us to you go there. You want us there. to go there? Yes. We can go there in one minute. In okay. one minute, right. please. So, so, so I, I, I think whether we like it or not, there, there's been a very strong uh, decline in the, in the value that we have in our society today. Our value system is greatly eroded. Mm -hmm. And that has also uh, impacted significantly on the quality of people that we've been producing as well. Um, so I, and I think that's because we, we glorify things that have no, no value as it were. So someone steals money and everybody is hailing the person as is a go, as the big man, as the, the rich man. And whether you like it or not, that has become, you know, so much ingrained in the, in the psyche of our young people that believe that the most important thing is the end justifies the means. Whereas mm. that is actually a very wrong um, Notion. You know, philosophy about life. Narrative, yes. You know, so I, I, think, I, think, I think we just need to go back to, you know, really character building has to happen from the unit of the family. You know, and whether we like it or not, that is also being greatly eroded. The, the family unit is being actually played down on significant, like it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. But whether we like it or not, this is something we must pay attention to. Character must be built. Character must be, must be sustained as a very important factor in building a successful enterprise or a business. You know, I have, one of my, my, my own personal mentor tells me that if I have someone who has character, who, who doesn't have competence, Mm. I can teach him competence. Mm. I can build him to become better. And that is one of the things that he has over the years taught me as something I should hold very dear. Mm. That let this person have character. Let him be a person of integrity. Let him be a person of strong work ethics. Let him be disciplined. Mm. Let him have honesty. Let him be someone who, who has a, a drive for excellence, mm. which are character, character traits. Mm -hmm. Everything as it has to do with the work, he can learn. You can teach him how to code. You can teach him how to develop a program. You can teach him how, but he, mu he must have those basic things that would help him then multiply what you have mm -hmm. so that it doesn't have squander what you have built Absolutely. all because he does not have good character. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think what a best, the best way to wrap it up, if you just had one thing to say to the young person watching here, you know, as a plan for 2021, what would that be? I would say that in 2021 let your roots run deep hmm. that's what i would say i hmm. mean don't be shallow don't be a surface person hmm. there, there's so much you need to do but your the, the level of the height you can go in anything in life depends on the depth you have so before you grow upwards in 2021 spend some time to grow downwards too hmm. let your roots run deep become really very firm become really very good at what you're doing. I mean, really don't, don't spend time trying to impress anybody. Who doesn't even care what you're doing? Mm. Spend time to do you, spend time to be you, spend time to develop you, spend Absolutely. time to actually create what you would call a niche for yourself. And mm. then when the sprout comes out of the ground, there will be no stopping anymore because the root has actually run very deep. deep. I think that's the perfect way to wrap it up. Thank you so much. It's always a delight having you on the show thank you thank you thank you um so um it's been thank a, you so much <laughs> thank, thank you, you. it's thank been you a very so good conversation I, absolutely. absolutely like one hour just flew by <laughs> as always <laughs> all right so in case you missed today's quote here it is again we cannot always build the future for our youth but we can build our youth 
for the future and see what um, Ayola just said now. Let exactly. your roots run very deep. deep. Uh, that Be is really you, deep. I'm, I'm taking you. that home with me. Absolutely. It's been a very insightful conversation. Keep it going on our social media platforms at We Show Africa One on Twitter, at We Show Africa on IG, and We Show on Facebook as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>